Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for watching another episode of Short Guy Drinks Whiskey. Today, we're going to be talking about three things you didn't know about early times Kentucky whiskey. Interesting fact number one, on the bottle it does say Kentucky whiskey because this is not a bourbon because it's aged in used oak barrels and bourbon has to be aged in new oak barrels. That's why this is a Kentucky whiskey and not a bourbon. Interesting fact number two, Old Times is owned by Brown Foreman. That's the same company that produces Jack Daniels, Woodford Reserve, and Old Forster. And on to the last interesting fact, this guy originated from Jack Beam who is uncle to Jim Beam. Let's get this into the glass. All right, the appearance here, you can just tell that it was aged in a used oak barrel. It's not very brown. In fact, it looks very thin and very watery, maybe more on the yellowish side, like honey, maybe an amber if you're gonna give it a little bit of brown, but you can tell there that it looks kind of thin and very watery. So I'm predicting that the smell is gonna smell very watered down uh, and smell very thin, probably taste the same way. Let's give it a smell. All right, so in addition to early times being aged in used oak barrels, it's only 40% ALC, and it's only in there for about three years, just one year over the two-year minimum. So you should be able to get way in here and take nice deep breaths. So let's check it out. Yeah, there's absolutely no alcoholic burn in there on the nose. So it's very light, very watery smelling. You can just get the corn smell in there. And because of that sweetness and that lightness, maybe some vanilla in there. And absolutely zero wood and barrel. Let's give it a taste. All right, down the hatch. Zero burn. Super flat, very round all the way around that just kind of disappeared. Very short, a little bit of kind of oily feeling on the tongue. I can taste the sweetness. There's the vanilla, a little bit of spiciness. That's probably from the rye. But man, that evaporates really, really quickly. Absolutely zero alcoholic burn on the finish. All in all, pretty flat, rounded, minimal taste on there. Eh, it's a budget whiskey. Once again, guys, that was Early Times Kentucky Whiskey. Remember, it's not a bourbon. Now, would I recommend this? Eh, probably not. I think you would get a better deal with Evan Williams. This is a little bit too watered down, a little bit too flat tasting. I mean, if you really wanted to just throw some Coke in it, that would be fine. But I think you would get better taste out of the Evan Williams. Now, if you didn't see that video, I'll leave a link right up here. But that's the ending of this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.